Uh, I think I have made myself very clear. I'm going into work today. I see no reason to stop you. So he's fine. He's not 100% yet, but I'm pleased with his progress. You're a very determined man. Well, I couldn't have done any of it without you, Doctor. Don't push yourself too hard. I won't. Thank you, Doctor. Daddy, we know you're anxious to get back out there. We just don't want you to overdo it. Not running a marathon, Felicia. I'm just going to spend some time behind my desk today. And like the doctor said, I'm a very determined man. And don't be calling your mother for backup, all right? I'm a, I'm a grown man. I get to make my own decisions here. And my first order of business is to call my wife. You're calling mom yourself? Donna is my wife. Will you give me some privacy, please? Mom, did you hear what I said? Dad just called Donna to come over to the house. She's no. going to be here any minute. You know what? Go up there. Talk to him. I'm going to call security. No, no, don't do that. We're not going to do anything like that. Donna! Eric called me. Yes, I know. He's up in the bedroom. Please, come on in. Go on up and see him. What your father wants. Do you know why he called her? Did he tell you? No. This could be Donna's last chance to hold on to our father. You're just going to stand by and let that happen? Must you make every situation so melodramatic? Stop pacing up and down. You're going to wear a hole in the ground. But Mother Donna's been up there a long time. Listen, the two of you can't... It, please, if you just can't relax, then... You know what? It'd be better if you go home. Mother, Dad could be in trouble. You know what happened the last time she barged in on Look, him. Look, he wanted to see her. Mom, I know you love Dad, and you want to believe he'll do the right thing, but this is Donna we're talking about. Sweetheart, she is not the first woman that your father slept with while he was married to me, okay? And she is not, she's not the last crisis that our relationship is going to survive. How can you be so sure he's going to leave her? You know, Donna and Owen may not have had sex. <laughs> you know, <laughs> may, she may be able to convince him that that's true, but that isn't the point. The point is what he saw, the two of them together, that was a betrayal. But we don't know what he's seeing right now. I don't need to remind you of the persuasive power that woman possesses. She's probably using everyone she's got on Dad this very minute. Look, she could be doing God knows what to him. I'm going to go help him. I'm going up there. Were you not going to say anything? I didn't come here to talk to you. I'll check on Dad. He's fine. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, Stephanie, but he didn't ask me for a divorce. But he didn't ask you to stay, either. Not yet. I asked him to forgive me, to give our marriage a second chance. And he heard me. You're lying. I don't believe you. Felicia Thorne, um, would you excuse me just for a minute? I'd like to talk to Donna. Alone. I don't care what you believe. That marriage to Eric is over. I'm not going to do this with you, Stephanie. You begged him to forgive you, and he didn't, did he? I asked him to forgive me. To prove to him how much I love him. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. But you've betrayed him and your marriage vows, and he saw that. I hurt him. I disappointed him. But after being married to you for years, being let down by a wife is nothing new. Don't you dare compare that farce of a marriage that you had with him to all the years that Eric and I have had together. And let me tell you something, miss. He and I will be together until death us do part. Oh, really? Well, somebody should tell that to Eric because I'm still his wife. Not for long. The very thing that made you so appealing to him is the very thing that has destroyed you. And now he realizes who truly loves him. Who was with him when he came out of that coma? I was. Our children were. And where were you? You were in bed with another man. You have no idea how much forgiveness he is capable of. 
You never appreciated his compassion. You thought it made him weak and gullible. I never thought that about Eric. I've always known how strong he is. And now, fortunately for him, he's free of you. He is still my husband. I'm sure he'll offer you a very generous settlement, and then you and Oa can sail off into the sunset. Now, Stephanie, this is not over. Yes, it is. I know you. And I know what you are capable of to get what you want. But do you know me? Do you know the length I will go to to protect the people I love? Eric is the love of my life. And I'm not giving him up, not to you, not to anyone. While there's still a breath in my body, I will not give up on our marriage. So, is it true what Donna said? Oh, I don't know. I haven't talked to your father yet. Uh, I can't believe he would take her back. Well, I don't want to believe that either. Well, so let's talk to Dad and see what's up. Mom? Uh, I don't want to do it right now. Why not? Do you think that Donna's telling the truth? Dad's considering a reconciliation? I don't know. Well, Mother, let's find out. Wait, could you just give me a moment? I'd like to think this through. Mother, listen, if Dad has done something crazy, Honey, we need... if she has talked her way back into his life, believe me, there will be one hell of a fight. I'm not going to let her take advantage of him again. I don't want to go through this again with Donna. And you shouldn't. Mom, I'm going to take the lead on this. If you start pressuring Dad about Donna, the whole thing could backfire. Felicia has a point, Mom. You and Dad are so close, why jeopardize that? Maybe you're right. I think I know what I could do to set this all straight. Where are you going? Hopefully to protect your father. 